Within these videos, I'm going to talk about a few things that have changed with the hour of code activity that we've actually created here inside of the Unreal Engine. And one of these things happens to be where you can find it. So if you've managed to make it to this video, we thank you so much. Um, instead of actually looking for this in the marketplace under Hour of Code, which you may have seen here inside of this first video, uh, we actually need to go to a different place. So instead, you can just come into your launcher and what you're gonna type in is actually Learning Kit Games up here. And once you turn that, you will actually find this. And this is now where the Hour of Code activities are located. So you'll wanna open up this project, download it and save it and get it up and running. Then you'll be able to follow along with the next couple of things that we need to address that have changed since the release of this new version of this actual set of assets. Next up on this list is where you can actually find the Hour of Code activity pieces. So you will notice that down here in the bottom of this, you may have a content browser that looks like a whole bunch of just things. Uh, mine's right and organized right now and we wanna get yours nice and organized as well. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're gonna click on this little button right here, this little open folder. And what we wanna do is come all the way to the very top and click on the word content. Right? So you wanna click this one right here. That'll then organize this bottom piece so it looks much more like this. Next up, let's go ahead and open up this over here on the far side, this little tiny button over here on the far end, right down there. There we go. And you can find the hour of code actually in there. So boom, there it is. Now, pretty much everything else you see in here, you'll be able to migrate to, which will be nice and easy. Your blueprints are gonna be right here. The thing that I want to bring up though is that the code has changed because we had to merge these uh, specific activities in with some other activities, which is awesome. So what you wanna to do to find a couple of very specific things is to go into the game and you'll find that you have the hour of code character as well as the hour of code game in here, okay? So hour of code, blueprints, and then go into game. And the, these two pieces right here are going to replace using this specific location. So on page 12 of your first guide, so this is the very first guide, you'll notice it says, hey, go into content and then third person blueprint and then blueprints. Do not go there anymore. Instead, you wanna go here. So hour of code, blueprints, and then game, and you'll find these two pieces. These are the same ones. You'll notice that they are named just a little bit different. So moving forward, when any of these guides, until they are updated, say to look for the epic character, you're gonna look for the BP hour of code character, this one right here, okay? And then when you are looking for something like the third person game mode, you are going to look for the blueprint, uh, blueprint hour of code game. You're gonna to wanna to find that instead, okay? So some other things have actually kind of changed in here as well. So if we go to our other guide in here, uh, so this is the, we go to the very top here. Um, this is your student guide for unlocking uh, the final area. Um, so this is activity four. So if we come back down here, so page 15, on this guide on activity four, you'll find that it says cast to third person game mode. You won't find that anymore. What you'll have to do is you'll have to cast to the third person, sorry, you'll have to cast to the blueprint hour of code game instead. That is the actual game mode that you're gonna be looking for, okay? So there's that one. Then also, in the final guide, uh, you will also find a couple pages where it says, hey, cast to third person game mode. You don't want that. Again, you wanna use that blueprint hour of code game instead, right? So you're gonna to cast to that instead. So you'll find that on page 11. Um, down here again, you'll find areas where it says, go into this very specific location. Remember, you don't wanna go there. That doesn't exist anymore. You're gonna go into content, hour of code, blueprints, and then game. So that one right there. I know this sounds redundant, but I definitely wanna go over it a few times so that you all don't forget about it. Um, and then very last part down here, let me scroll down and find it. So on page 33 of this last guide, it does ask you to go into that epic character. Again, we're not gonna use the epic character. We're actually gonna jump into this BP hour of code character. So I'll just double click on it so you get a chance to see what this looks like. And instead of here, what it's asking you to do is to find this specific section right here, this activity five, and you'll notice that it says, hey, cast two hour of came. So this is exactly what you're looking for. Like, oh, that's what I actually want. So you wanna connect it into this one right across there like that. Okay. So if you have any more questions, comments, concerns, or confusion about these guides, please get a hold of me, Gatlin Shadow. You can find my uh, email address at ian at cleverlike.com, and I will be able to help you out if you have any more concerns about not being able to navigate through this as these actually update and change over time.